So this is the wildlife refuge area. Super cool, but no overnight camping. And all this is underwater in the winter. A two mile hike that way puts you up on a viewing platform. Pretty fascinating, this little log house. It's an original pioneering log house from the 1890s out here at this wildlife reserve. Can you imagine what your front yard would look like? Cut my hand. Wow. Let's walk around and then we'll go in. <clears throat> Look at that would have been your view. Oh, no way. No way. So this must have been the little bitty living room. Oh, this is too cool. Looks like that door, they had to reconstruct the door. And there's the upstairs. I don't know if this is a porch. Oh, this is so cool. Look at that kitchen. That's it. Look at what your view would have been like. That would shut. Oh man, that is unreal. Too cool. Oh, this is so, I want one of these. They label just about every piece of wood in the house. This is newspaper that they used for wallpaper. Look at that, all the little labels. Okay, now this is pretty awesome, but I just smelled an old piece of dead fish somewhere. The heater and the fire stove going, oh, it's all boarded up. I know you wanna go upstairs, don't you? Amazing. Here's one bedroom, I guess. And here's the other bedroom. There's this little trap door. So I'm having to set up at this, where I was going, and uh, there's no camping places available. The Columbia, that's the Columbia back there. This is definitely the most awkward I've ever felt. I didn't have any cash to put in the cash envelope. I couldn't find a place where I could put up my hammock, so I had to pull over on the side and just grab two random trees. But I am nervous as all get out that somebody's gonna wake me up and push me out of my hammock and tell me to get out of here, freeloader. Oh, I hope I get to sleep through the night. Well, it's about 5.15 in the morning and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just pack up and get out of here. Wrote a note on the envelope. I don't know, I'll just drive into town and get some breakfast, I guess. That was a long, awkward night. So we're gonna head in to uh, find some breakfast at, uh, it's gotta be around 5.30 or 6 or something. 
So I'm getting out while the getting's good. Apparently, Bet's Place on Oak Street is the place to go when you want to eat breakfast at 5.30 in the morning. Let's go check it out. That was awesome. 